And now, the final artist of the night, Atlanta, Georgia resident, James David Carter. Growing up, I remember really loving country music, but most of my childhood was spent chasing sports. Football was gonna be my future, but my senior year, I jumped up and made an interception and came down on my right leg, and my knee basically just snapped. So my path with sports ended. He would sit on the couch and just try to write songs. It, he had a lot of time to do that. <laughs> no, I don't think they were bad. I became a working musician at this country honky-tonk called Cowboys. I got to open up for Dwight Yoakam, Brad Paisley, Trey Atkins, just a lot of people that I looked up to. I managed to make a living as a solo musician the past 12 years. And um, I'm just ready for my big break. As I've gotten older, thoughts creep in of maybe I should go back to school and pursue something else. For one of the coaches to turn a chair, it would serve as a validation that I've been doing the right thing for the past 12 years of my life. Amazing. Gwen, thank you for teaching me how to spell bananas. I appreciate that. Oh my God! Yes! Yes! <laughs> I can spell so many words, man. What does it mean to stand up there? It means it deserved the highest possible point on my chair. <laughs> See if you can stand on the back. See if you can stand on the back. Wow. <laughs> Don't break it. He's gonna break it. Are you okay? Oh. <laughs> okay, he's taller. He's taller. He's taller. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Uh, listen. Whatever. You know what? There wasn't a nervous second in your performance. You were like totally in key. You had so much finesse as a coach. This is what you dream for. You are the total package. Thank you, Pharrell. I know it's weird because I thought you had to spell bananas and all that stuff, but I have nobody on my team like you. What's going to happen on Blake's team is he's going to have all the country artists. They're going to battle, and he's just going to wipe out people left and right. This is strategy. Can I start over? Because somewhere between the Cirque du Soleil and <laughs> bananas, what is your name? Yeah, uh, my name is James David Carter. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Man, I can't stand on, on, on chairs, <laughs> mostly because I've been drinking too much already. Too soon. I haven't lost my ability to, to hear yet today, and, and seven seasons of, of sitting in this chair. That may be the best country audition that I have ever heard. Uh, For real. 
What's the big bar there in Atlanta? I opened for you in, at the one at Kennesaw. Oh, that's Cowboys. Oh, you didn't remember, did you? You had a mullet. He just said you had a mullet. It's been a while. That's been at least a month or two ago. <laughs> okay. Songs are the lifeblood of an artist on this show. I can guarantee you none of these three have ever heard of Kevin Sharp. I don't want to see you end up on a team that there's not a working knowledge of what's either current in country music, what is classic in country music. Yeah. Um, You've got to do the right thing here. Well, can I talk? Yeah, go ahead. Um, oh, my God. Oh, man. I, well, that's a good point, and I'm glad that <laughs> you took this opportunity. Then why don't you hush up? Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you and tell you I know more about country music than Blake Shelton does. He's the authority and he's one of my best friends. I love him to pieces. <laughs> I hate losing. <laughs> and I just know you can win this thing no problem. And when I know that, I have to fight so hard. And I guarantee victory if you choose me. I guarantee it. Wow. <laughs> like, that's how... Like, banana... Sorry, bananas. I am... Uh, I'm crazy. -A -N -A -N -A -S. Yeah, I'm like a right. possessed monster yes. for you, dude. <laughs> My claws are out. That song topped the charts. And I see that same ability in you. And man, I would love to have you on my team. Okay, who do you pick as your coach? Uh. Go I have to go with Mr. Blake Shelton. Yeah. Yeah. exciting moments is when James started singing. The only thing that tops that is when he picked me as his coach. His voice is incredible. It broke my heart, but I understand. I can't believe I didn't get James. He's just ridiculous. Uh, I've never seen a blind audition that was so star-like. It's pretty epic. Oh, don't even look at me right now. I can't even look at you right now. <laughs> Tomorrow at 8, 7 Central, the blind auditions continue. <laughs> this season, the talent is off the charts. Your voice is perfect. Wow. And these coaches aren't afraid to beg for a winner. Please be on my team. <laughs> How seriously are you going to be able to take this guy? Don't miss. I want you. The blind auditions. You are such a threat to the game. Night two. I think you can win this show. Yeah. The Voice continues tomorrow at 8, 7 Central. Stay tuned. James Spader stars in the premiere of The Blacklist starting right now.